Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. This is Simon Cromer and today we're gonna to be removing decal off of a 16 foot Donzi. So guys, this video is gonna be all over, but hang in there, hang with me. We're doing a full detail on this. So decal's coming off, then I'm gonna wash the boat, then we're gonna run through all our steps. We're gonna sand down this, uh, all this behind here, cause she, the owner wants it mirrored, which means they don't want to see this old sticker because they might be putting a new sticker on. So we have to get this thing perfect. So that's got to come off. Adhesive's got to get removed, sanded down, uh, buffed, polished, all that good stuff, guys. So you're going to get to watch the whole process. But for now, I'm going to be doing the decal part. Then we're going to move on uh, throughout the rest of the process. So guys, what I have today with me is I have a plastic razor blade. So plastic razor blade, I literally bought this on Amazon. There's tons of them, so many different brands out there. This one is, let's see, I don't know. This is just a generic one. There's no name brand on it, but like I said, they're on Amazon and you, most of these you can come or they come with like a hundred like extras. So like on this one, there's literally like hundreds of these uh, razors which you're gonna want the razors, the extra ones, because they do dull out pretty quick. But all you're trying to do here when you're removing a decal, uh, all you wanna do is you just wanna get the, you just wanna get it started and then you wanna try to pull the rest off. So you're not sitting there scraping the whole thing off. You're scraping a little bit to get it started. Uh, and then we also, so right here I have lubricant spray. It's literally just soap and water, but there are lubricant sprays out there if you wanted to buy one. Um, so I'm just gonna spray the surface down. Just get some soapy water on it, kind of make it a little easier to start. And then the only other thing I have is a heat gun. So this is important. You wanna have a heat gun. This is literally a blow dryer. This is a DIY type video, but um, you know, I'm gonna be ordering like a DeWalt, an actual heat gun for the business because I do a lot more of these decal jobs, it seems like recently. So I'm gonna order a legit one. But this is just a hair dryer and it's all you need. You just need a little bit of heat. So you wanna heat the decal up just enough to get it warm, nice and like kind of soft a little bit. And then you wanna get it started. Now you don't wanna, if you get it too hot, it's just gonna, it's just gonna rip, like it's gonna peel. So it's gonna get really flexible and, and it's just gonna kind of rip off. So you want like moderate heat, you wanna get it started and then you wanna pull it off. So guys, I'm gonna go ahead and do that now. So go ahead and just watch what I'm doing. So you can see that I got the sticker started. So I got it started. That, that's the hardest part is to get it started. And then once you get it started, you just kind of heat it up and pull it off. Uh, it's, like I said, you just gotta get experience. You just gotta go out and do it. That's the best way to learn. But yeah, it's not really too hard, but it does take some time. I'm guessing this will be about a 10 to 15 minute job just to get this Sia decal off. Now there's one on both sides. I already took the other one off, so now we're gonna. So now I'm just taking this side off. So, like I said, there's only mo so much I can explain. Just go ahead and watch me, and I'm gonna kind of fly through this. And yeah, I'm gonna put this on time lapse mode. <laughs> Here it is, everything has been taken off with the plastic scraper. Now guys, plastic scraper only, never use a metal one, that will damage the gel coat. So everything's off, you can see there's not much adhesive left behind, which is pretty good, sometimes that happens, sometimes it doesn't. Uh, if you have a lot of adhesive, use a adhesive remover product. I will throw one up on the screen for you guys in case that happens but I will not be using it on this job. So things to note, um, you can see how the outline of all the letters are still there. This is dirt building up, getting on the corners of all the letters and it's sticking to the 
um, adhesive. So we have to get all that off. Now, sometimes I notice there are high spots, like this will be a little lower, this will be a little higher. So that's why we're gonna sand. We're gonna sand this down because we wanna make sure everything is even and everything is perfect. That's how we're gonna be able to make this thing look almost invisible. So you don't wanna be able to tell that this was here prior to them putting the new sticker on the boat. So we're gonna sand down. I'm gonna, well, the current plan is to sand with a thousand and then 2000. Uh, we'll see how that goes guys. And I will see you guys in the next part of the video. I just realized that I don't gotta wash the boat first. I'm gonna sand it and then we'll wash it later. Um, so yeah, we're gonna sand now. So we got Abrilon, Merca Abrilon, and we got 1,000 and 2,000. So we're gonna do 1,000 first, follow up with 2,000. We wanna kinda clear this up, kinda blend it in. Um, you know, we don't wanna go crazy, crazy on it, but we wanna kinda work this in. So 1,000 first, we have our lubricant spray, which like I said, it's soap and water. Gonna spray that on. And guys, let's get to it, 1,000. Just a quick thought, this is a Griot's Garage uh, DA polisher. You can get this on Amazon for about $160. Um, yeah, so, and then also guys, I'm running it at speed three. So let's go ahead, let's do the 2000. Clean up the rest of the surface and we'll be ready for our next step. Now you guys will notice that it's if you run your hands around it, it's still not perfect, but we're getting there. So we still have our buffing and our microfiber pad. So that's gonna clean the rest of this stuff up. So uh, let's go to the next step. Haha, -ha, guys, I got a light. So we got an LED light now. So obviously you're gonna see that this is a little scratched up and of course we just sanded. So that's expected. Now what's up next is we have the microfiber. The microfiber is going to do some cutting. It's going to take some of this stuff off. It's really going to level this out. So that's why we're going to use the microfiber. Um, we have Stark Level R, which is their heavy cut compound. We have the Rupes Bigfoot 15. I think it's the LHR 15. Um, now guys, all this stuff that I talk about, you can purchase in the links below. If you, if you purchase any Stark products, such as Stark Level R, if you use my code TOPDOC30, you can get 30% off any Stark products. Guys, that's an incredible deal. All you gotta do is go to marinedetailsupply.com and you can purchase any Stark products there. Use my code and you can get 30% off. So guys, we're gonna, we're gonna uh, start, we're gonna put this on the pad and we're going to run this thing. This this Bigfoot, the Rupes Bigfoot, is a random orbital. so. It's gonna run in a circle and you know the harder you press the more you angle it the slower it's gonna spin so this is perfect for what we're doing so guys let's get to it So the lettering is pretty much removed. All that's gone. So all I have left is a little bit of adhesive, um, a little bit of adhesive sticking on some of these parts. But guys, you, you're not gonna be able to tell that that sticker was there. So that's good. I just gotta get off this adhesive and then we're just gonna carry on. I'm gonna wash the boat and I'm just gonna do the entire boat. You know, we're just gonna run through the steps and that's gonna look perfect so you can see some of these like I said some of this adhesive that's left over that wasn't able to get sanded off um, I'm really not prepared for this job I don't have adhesive remover on me and I didn't have my heat gun either so I wasn't gonna make the video but then I was like I know there's a lot of people out there that would like to see a video like this so you know what 
not everything in life is gonna be perfect at the perfect time. So I just did the video anyway. So guys, what we're gonna do, so th this little leftover adhesive, a wool pad will take this off. So I'm just gonna do it now. You could do it while you're buffing, but I'm just gonna do it now for you guys. So I'm just gonna use this mini one and I'm gonna put some level R on here. This is a Milwaukee mini buffer. You can get this on Amazon. It comes in handy in small tight spots, but I'm gonna use it here and get the rest of this adhesive off. guys and just like that all the adhesive is gone if not pretty much all of it and guys it'll come out the rest of the detailing process so guys I'm gonna wash the boat we're gonna do the full boat we have a three-step process so we're gonna do the rest of the boat guys and then I will show you how this turns out um, I think it's gonna be perfect you can't even tell you can't even tell it was there Sometimes what happens, depending on how old the boat is, this is an older boat. I think it's a 90 something. Uh, so sometimes when you have a decal on here, when it's out in the sun, it's out in the weathering for 20 years, uh, this, you know, the part under the sticker, it's not seeing any of the elements versus this is. So sometimes you'll have a discoloration in the fiberglass, which is normal. So again, we just mirrored the best we can. And guys, I think this one's gonna be perfect. So let's go. Let's go, I will show you the rest. Next day, I used a wool pad and I used the microfiber. I didn't like the wool pad any more than the microfiber on this job because it's really not that oxidized. I did the boat two years ago. So guys, we are gonna go with the microfiber instead. So now we are outside. I got the boat washed. Remember yesterday, we did all the sanding. Uh, we did the microfiber. Now we're doing our rest of our normal polishing. So we're gonna come through with Minzerna 400 microfiber. Then we're gonna come through with a foam pad after that. So guys, here it is. This is where CA used to be. The decal, you really can't see it anymore. You really can't see it. So that's a good sign. We're outside. You can't see where the old uh, decal was. So we're gonna move on through with the process. And guys, this thing is gonna be perfect. So just go ahead and watch me. Let's go.
I'm ending the video here. But before you go, be sure to stick around for the after footage. Guys, leave a like, leave a comment, share it. If you're not subscribed, what are you doing? Hit the subscribe button. And guys, I will see you on the next video.